So today we have two different recipes, two Mexican rice recipes. One is very traditional, it is going to be the uh, Mexican authentic rice, which is going to be a very quick and easy, you can do it like in 10 minutes. That's for those of you who are, have busy lives, working and don't have much time to cook in the kitchen. And then I do have another recipe, also very authentic and Mexican. Um, that one is not hard, it just takes a little bit more time because it's a lot more ingredients, a lot of more steps to go into it. Both recipes are delicious, they are so, so delicious. Really good. Um, first of all, I want to touch to, uh, I want to let you guys know about two different ways to make the cauliflower rice. One could be, you could just buy it already grated like this. It's like a cauliflower rice, you can buy it at any store. I buy mine at Costco. It comes four of these bags in a big bag. I think it's like $5.99 or something like that. Uh, but I know there's many of you who cannot find it or it depends where you're watching this video, what part of the, uh, of the world you're, you're seeing this video from. Um, I'm gonna show you a way that you can make it yourself. And it's also actually cheaper. This is a one medium, cauliflower. It has to be uh, fresh, not cooked. All you do is just wash it, cut it, and dry it. Start grating it like grating cheese. And this is what the product's going to look like. So as you can see, it pretty much does resemble rice. And it's all done with a cheese grater. You could definitely use a food processor. Uh, not everyone has it. I don't have one. So I know that a cheese grater, most people have one, or at least it's very affordable that you can just get one pretty much anywhere. Um, so yeah, this is a, this one we're going to use for our second recipe. But for the first recipe, we're going to start with our easy recipe, which is like a 10 minute rice. So let's get to it. All right, I'm going to start with olive oil. I'm using around two to three tablespoons. I'm using um, avocado oil, but feel free to use olive oil if you like. I'm just gonna let it warm up. So now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of chopped onion. You can hear the sizzling. I'm also adding one garlic clove, finely chopped. Now I'm just gonna add the frozen rice cauliflower. It's frozen, you feel free to put it in the microwave for about a minute or some seconds, but I just like to add it like that. With the heat, it's just gonna melt. In the meantime, I'm adding uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Since it's thick, I'm gonna thin it out with some chicken stock. Yes, you can use fresh tomatoes, but I like the paste better because it just gives it a lot of a stronger color and it just looks very beautiful. So I'm using one third of a cup of uh, chicken stock and I'm just gonna thin it out. Just keep stirring. Let the water kind of evaporate. Okay, now it's on high heat. So I just want the water, some of the water to dry out. So let me show you the tomato paste that I'm using. I bought it at Costco. It is organic tomatoes. As you can see the ingredients, it's only organic tomatoes. That's the only ingredients, organic tomatoes. Like I said, feel free to use fresh tomatoes if you prefer. It's just not gonna be as bright orangey red. So now I'm adding the tomato with the chicken stock. To that I'm adding, it's half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm adding half a cup of green beans. You know, traditional rice has corn, carrot, or peas, but that wouldn't be ketogenic. So in this case, I'm adding green beans since they're keto. And just give it a good stir. If you like to use, uh, 
chicken powder or chicken stocking powder. Uh, I don't know what we call that. You could add it in right now. I don't use it. I just use salt. You could use Himalayan salt or uh, sea salt, which is uh, what I'll be using, sea salt. And now the salt, that's going to be up to you. Now, as you can see, it looks just like Mexican rice and it smells really good with the garlic, the onion, the chicken stock. Now, you know it has two different types of garlic, the garlic powder and the fresh garlic. Both give it a really good taste. Remember, you can use water if you don't have chicken stock, but I do recommend you use homemade chicken stock. It just gives it a much more homemade, really good taste, more authentic. You can always make your chicken stock on the weekend, just kind of boil like two chicken legs with some of the veggies and then just save the broth in the refrigerator all week. Now you can try it and taste it at right now and you'll see if it needs a little bit more salt or if it's ready. And to me, I think it, this is perfect. But again, you know, if you, you think it needs more salt, go ahead and add more salt to your taste. Now it's set. It's gonna turn it off and put it aside. Now we're on our next row, uh, uh, next rice. It's a poblano rice. It's a green rice, so you're gonna need one poblano chile. So as you can see, I already washed it, I already deveined it. Next step would be chopping it up because we're gonna blend it. So it's just like a rough chop because we're going to end up blending it anyways. To that we're adding just a small bunch of cilantro already washed. And we're adding one cup of spinach. Make sure it's also cleaned and washed. Now the spinach is not going to change the flavor, it's just going give, to help give it a nice bright green color. We're going to add one big garlic clove. And I'm also adding half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I like to use both the fresh and the powder because I do think that it tastes a little bit different. But they're both good. Now we're going to blend it with half a cup of homemade chicken soup, chicken stock. Again, if you don't have any chicken soup or chicken stock homemade, go ahead and use water. It's gonna just... See, it's thick, but that's the way you want. And you see the color is beautiful, right? Nice bright, bright green. It's set. So now I'm just gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn on the stove medium heat. I'm using avocado oil. Feel free to use olive oil if you prefer. I'm going to use around three to four tablespoons this time because I, it is a lot more cauliflower. This is a whole head of cauliflower so it's obviously a lot more than what came in the bag earlier. So that's why it's a little bit more oil. Now, the cauliflower is never going to be exact measurement on cups because, you know, they all come in different sizes, small, medium, or large cauliflower heads. But I'm going to measure it just so you can see. Okay, while the oil heats up, I'm going to start chopping some onions. This is one-fourth of a medium or small onion. Now, I'm not going to add any garlic because I already added powder gar garlic powder and fresh garlic in the green salsa. Now, feel free to blend the onion along with, uh, with the garlic, the spinach, and you know, in the salsa. But I prefer to kind of just uh, put it in the oil, saute it. It just gets caramelized and it just gives it a really good taste. And I love the sizzling, just the caramelized onions. It smells so good. Okay, 
All right, just to give you an idea of how much cauliflower it is, you know, like I said, all cauliflowers are different sizes, but this one, let's measure it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna lower the heat. And eight. You can see that was eight. Eight cups. Now we're adding our green salsa. I'm adding another half cup to this. And I'm just gonna start adding little by little. If it needs more, I'll add more. If not, just with a little bit, it will go all the way. And I'm adding salt. I'm using sea salt. Feel free to use Himalayan pink salt, sea salt, or if you use the, uh, what do you call it, the chicken garlic powder, um, the chicken broth powder, I don't know. I don't use that. I just rather use the salt. And just mix it very well make sure it all cooks evenly so just make sure you mix the salsa now this is optional I roasted another chile poblano roasted it all around and then I put it in a plastic bag for about five ten minutes and then I peel the skin and so now it's ready to chop it You just kind of chop it in, you know, little strips. Smells so good. Chile poblano smells delicious. And then when it's roasted, it smells even better. So now that's just what I added. Roasted chile poblano. Oh, it's, it smells so good and it's ready. So turn it off. And this right is done, ready to serve. All right, I'm gonna serve a little bit of green and red, the traditional. Look at this, doesn't it look just like rice? And as you can see, our rice is already plated. We got the Mexican red rice, and I added the green beans, because as you know, uh, traditional Mexican rice has corn, carrots, and peas, which are not keto. So in this case, we added green beans and of course our green poblano rice. This is so delicious, but it needs a little touch. Sour cream. Oh, with a little dollop like that, maybe a little bit bigger. Oh, that's gonna make it just super creamy, tastes like magic. So let's try our Mexican rice first. This is our traditional Mexican rice. It looks like Mexican rice. It smells like Mexican rice. Now let's try it. Definitely. The tomato paste, the onion, the garlic, green beans, and of course, the, the chicken stock. The real chicken stock, you know, homemade. It's what gives it the little secret. It tastes very homemade like Mexican rice. Feel free to use water, but of course, you know, nothing beats homemade chicken stock. That's just the way to go. It just tastes like rice. It looks like rice. My kids love it. Can't even tell the difference as you can see. Whoa! Yeah. And now let's try our green rice. This rice is very fancy. Definitely for like a nice fancy dinner. I like to mix it like that. Ooh, make it extra creamy as you can see. Let's give this a try. But of course, let's get a little piece of chile poblano. Just a little piece of chile right there. Yes. Here we go. This is gonna be one of your favorite rice. Oh my God, if you never had like green mole, green Mexican mole, oh, tastes like that one. Just like that because of the green poblano chile. I think the fact that it's um roasted too, the roasted poblano gives it an extra touch. This is a must try. 
It's like a must try. The green poblano rice. Oh, okay, last one, last one. And then I'll end the video. It's just too good to stop. Mmm. I'm loving it. Well, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget um, to subscribe, share, share with all your friends, Facebook, Instagram. And well, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to share, subscribe if, if you're new. I know there's many more videos coming in English. It's only a few, but take a look at all the, the ones I already have in Spanish. I'm gonna start little by little remaking them in English. So please hang in there. Love you lots, bye. Oh, and don't forget, click right here on this ball. Click right here. It's gonna remind you every time I put new videos just like this one, keto, Mexican, authentic, keto style. So don't, come on, let's go click on that. Did you click on it already? You got it. I have an English playlist right here. So click on it if you wanna take a look at them. And if you haven't seen my latest video, I have a keto horchata. So click on that right there. So you can take a look at it. You're gonna fall in love with that horchata. Well, until next time, see you later.